An angioplasty is a procedure that opens up blocked blood vessels without surgery. During the procedure, the interventional cardiologist places a sheath into the artery in your groin or wrist. The cardiologist will guide a small catheter into the coronary arteries through this sheath. Then your doctor will inject a small amount of X-ray dye through the guiding catheter. You may feel a warm flushing sensation at this time. This is normal and passes quickly. The dye will enter the coronary arteries. Your doctor will watch the movement of the X-ray dye on a screen and identify where your arteries are narrowed. Your doctor may ask you to take a deep breath and hold it for a few seconds while taking X-rays and ask you to cough after the X-ray is finished. This helps remove the dye from the arteries. If a blockage is found, a small balloon with a stent will be inflated at the site of the blockage, widening the blocked artery. It may be inflated several times to push the plaque against the artery walls and open the artery enough. When the balloon is inflated, the blood stops flowing through your artery for a short time. This is not long enough to cause damage to your heart. However, you may experience some chest pain. The stent helps to keep the artery open. An angioplasty takes between 30 minutes and two hours, depending on the number of blockages. Discharge from the hospital is usually 12 to 24 hours after the catheter is removed. Many patients are able to return to work within a week after a procedure. Although angioplasty is a less invasive way to open clogged arteries than bypass surgery, the procedure still carries some risks. The most common risks are bleeding at the point of injection and blood clots within the stents. These clots can close the artery, causing a heart attack. Taking aspirin in combination with clopidogrel is important to decrease the chance of clots forming in your stent. Thank you for watching this video. Please watch my next video to learn more about how the heart and lungs work.